Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be printing high quality art prints on two different Epson Mate papers and compare the quality, price, and specifics of the two. The two papers I will be testing and comparing are the Epson Premium Presentation Paper, which is the cheaper option, and Epson Ultra Premium Presentation Paper, which is the more expensive paper and claims to be a step up from the standard premium. So let's get started. For a quick introduction, my name is Sandra. I'm a freelance illustrator and I found myself looking for a good quality paper to print my artwork at home. Regular printer paper just doesn't cut it, and if you're presenting artwork at conferences or selling prints of your artwork, you're going to want to use a higher quality paper that is thicker and prints more accurately. So let's dive into these two papers. On the left side, I have the Ultra Premium Presentation Paper. This is a higher quality of the two papers. It is 8.5 by 11 inches, includes 50 sheets of paper, it's a matte white and works in inkjet printers. It is a 51 pound paper. For reference, standard printer paper is usually 20 pound, so this paper is going to be more durable. It is labeled as luxurious, heavyweight, and non-glare. The ultra premium paper is only one-sided, so you cannot print on the back of it. At the time of purchasing, this one was priced around $19. Moving to the Epson Premium Presentation Paper to the right, this is the standard or basic option that Epson is selling. This is also an 8.5 by 11 inch paper, includes 50 sheets and works with inkjet printers. This one is slightly less dense, it's a 48 pound paper. If you're curious about how they measure the pound weight of paper, they determine it based on how much the paper weighs, measured in 500 sheets. So 500 sheets of this paper equals roughly 48 pounds. It's not that big of a difference in weight compared to the Ultra Premium. This one is labeled as heavyweight, two-sided cardstock. So you can print on both sides of this one, but only one side of the Ultra. At the time of purchasing this one, it was priced around $7. Next, we will do a print test for both papers. I'll be printing two artwork samples on each paper and compare afterwards. I'm using an Epson ET8500, which prints really awesome, true to color and quality art prints. I'll also be making a video tutorial about the Epson ET8500 for printing artwork, so check the description box below for that link. First, I will print using the Ultra Premium Presentation Paper. The instructions let you know how to figure out the right side to print on. I did accidentally print on the wrong side while testing and it does make a difference in color and clarity of the print. Next, I'll print the same artwork using the standard premium presentation paper. And after those print, I'll do the comparisons. Okay, so here are the first test prints. On the left, I have the ultra premium paper and on the right, I have the premium paper. From first glance, they look almost identical. In general, I'm really happy with the quality of both of the papers. I feel like the colors and the clarity is really good and comparable to the original paintings. I did try lower quality papers before this and found that the details were blurry and colors were not accurate when printed. So I am happy with Epson's papers because they can pick up those little details and more accurate colors. Looking closely between the two, it almost looks like the colors are a little more saturated in the premium presentation paper and less saturated in and less saturated in the ultra premium. You can kind of see as I do a close up on some of these same areas, the saturation of color is different when comparing the two. This could be because the premium presentation paper is whiter and brighter, so the colors are appearing more vibrant.
I was a little surprised by that. It's really, really a close call though. As far as the density, I can only slightly tell the difference. The Ultra is a little bit more durable, not as bendy or wiggly. I'll go ahead and look at the second artwork that I printed. Same as before, I have my Ultra Premium on the left and the Premium on the right. Both of these are so similar in quality and color again. If I look really closely, the premium paper looks a bit more grainy, like the details are slightly more pixelated and not as detailed, whereas the ultra premium paper looks more clear. I will say I also prefer the feel of the ultra premium paper. I think the density and the texture feels more like like a watercolor paper. It's definitely not as thick as a watercolor paper, but it has a similar finished texture of a hot press paper. The premium presentation paper is smoother on both sides and you can tell it's thinner when you're holding the paper like it's flopping around a, a little bit more. My final thoughts in comparing these two papers is that they are both great and high quality. I'm using this in a portfolio and we'll be sharing them in person, and I think I'd be happy to share either of these two papers. My favorite things about the Ultra Premium paper is that it is thicker and has a slightly more textured feel to the paper. However, you can only print on one side and it is more expensive of the two. What I like about the premium presentation paper is that it appears to print slightly brighter. You can print on both sides and it's really affordable. I'm curious to know what you all think while watching this video, if you can see any differences between the two and if you prefer one or the other. Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful in seeing the two types of paper printed and compared. Thanks so much for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe for more reviews and tutorials like this.